Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Stephanie of Kiki Planning back at it again for another video. In today's video we are planning out the week of June 27th through July 3rd using this kit from Moonlight Paper Co. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just flip through the kit. Basically, the only reason that I'm using this is because this week was the week of the only murders in the building season two premiere, and I love Selena Gomez, anything that she's in, absolutely stunning. So I watched season one, and now I'm obsessed with a season two, and I did already watch the first two episodes, and I am in love. So really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and just flip through the kit. So here are the full boxes, and the bottom washi date covers, all that fun stuff. The like sideboard e more functional e type items, um, some boxes, more boxes and glitter headers, and then date numbers, deco, extra boxes, some washi, and some three heart checklists. And I did pick this up when Claudia was still doing um, like kit foil bundle type situations. So this did also come with this foil bundle with two pages of the icons, um, two pages of the bougie boxes plus some glitter headers the scripts, which I did pick this up in the font version one, the bottom washi, and then two pages of the headers um, and full box overlays. And these both are like pretty old formats. They're not like the most current situation that she has, but either way, it's still super stinking cute. Let me go ahead and just flip through whatever this week looked like in my pre planner, if I can find it, because I, I am kind of a mess right now, but that's fine. Um. Okay, so this is the week in my pre-planner and like honestly, she's pretty plain Jane because this week was kind of a mess and we didn't really do anything for the entirety of the week. Um, I don't even think I even touched my planner besides like to put memory stuff down. So we're still trying to like get onto the track of all of this, on, onto the track, getting back on track for all this. Um, it is currently like the day after this, July the 4th. Um, and so yeah, we're just, we're just gonna try and hang on and go through and all of that stuff. So I'm just gonna like watch some streams for a little bit and we'll kick it off to uh, voice over Stephanie for the remainder of the video. Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to the channel. It is Stephanie of Geeky Planning back at it again for another video after a long hiatus question mark. I don't know, <laughs> we're gonna see how long it's been actually. Um, but in today's video, we have a pull out with me finally after I missed last week's and also Tuesday's video, but that's fine, we'll get to that eventually. Um, so for this week, we are planning out the week of July the 27th, no, June the 27th through July the 3rd using this kit from Moonlight Paper Code. This was like the serial chiller kit. Um, using artwork from Artsy Alita and any time that she releases anything that they release anything I am honestly just floored in awe of absolutely everything that there is I'm still trying to like debate who I should get the um like Atlantis inspired art from because like I can't and <laughs> everything just looks so stunning and I'm here for it you know so there is that so I did pull in the kit from Claudia's shop and then I also pulled in a matching foil bundle from her shop as well because she had like this thing where you could get a kit and a foil bundle as like a bundle kind of thing which I absolutely love because then I don't have to think about the foil whenever I use the kit um and then I also pulled in a five millimeter tape from Creativity and Ink along with a 15 millimeter washi from Angela's shop as well and I think that's like honestly it in terms of honorable mentions all the foil icons and scripts that I used are from the kit itself along with like the bougie boxes um date numbers glitter header overlays full box overlays basically everything in between but as per usual all the shops that I use will be listed either somewhere on the screen or in the description box down below along with any coupon codes whether they are mine or not and this is like note to me that I needed to update like my description box because I haven't done that in a little bit and I try to do that periodically every couple of months to make sure that like the websites that I'm putting in are still functional um I guess the most current ones because like if shops moved from like an Etsy to a Shopify shop or whatever it is um all of those things and then also like my coupon codes are accurate <laughs> kind of thing um so yeah there is that I guess that's it for like honorable mentions for this video as you can tell we are very much so on hot mess express tip situation also I forgot to mention that the whole protectors reinforcers that I pulled in are from Planet Hannah and I'm not even gonna lie like I have essentially just stopped putting in whole reinforcers because I've ran out of a lot of the colors like I don't think I have any more gold I don't have any copper like at all I don't have any like purple e orange e ish ones so I definitely need to like go through and get more whole reinforcers from Hannah's shop because some of my pages are starting to like tear on the in betweeny bits like where the holes are um or like they're just starting to widen so 10 out of 10 recommend if you have a ring bound planner and you don't already have hole reinforcers 
run to either like honestly you can just get some like just basic white or clear ones from like walmart the dollar store or whatever um but if you want like some fun foiled ones just run to your favorite shops that offer them the only ones that i know of that offer them are like crest press and planahanna so i would personally recommend planahanna just because she has more like fine colored options and it's definitely like the vibe that i go for but also just do whatever floats your goat whatever makes you happy all of the fun things and then <laughs> i think that's it for honorable mentions so i guess on to my planning style for those of you that don't know this is my memory planner which basically just means that she is a glorified scrapbook all these things did happen irl for me but i basically just like to wait until the week is over so i can plan it all at once question mark um and just have it be one giant relaxing session and i think like i have been i don't know if craving is the right word but like i have been wanting to do more talk through e type plan with these but it has honestly just been so hot that i can't sit for more than like the 20 minutes to do a voiceover without my fan on so uh, for right now they're probably all going to be voiceover e type plan with me which loki makes me kind of sad um but we'll see how soon we can get onto the talk through train because i'm definitely like missing that kind of thing and i also definitely want to like invest into like better filming things so that way we can hopefully potentially do a live stream the goal is by the by my next birthday in april of 2023 to have some sort of something for me to be able to do like live streaming type things because i think that'll be very much so a fun situation um but yeah that's basically it for this little intro e type section let's go ahead and get on to the day by day to literally not talk about anything besides like my random hiatus and potential other hiatuses hide i to come in the near and far future. <laughs> So I feel like I haven't really given any like I guess meaningful updates question mark in the past couple of videos or anything but I guess like th there's a lot of life changes going on right now for me by a lot I mean two but they're just like very time consuming ones um so the first one is that I started a new job was it this week the week that I'm planning for right now you know I think it might have been that might have been like my first actual week of like working um yeah this was like my first actual week of working so I guess from this <laughs> plan with me until now i'm doing this voiceover literally the day before this video is supposed to go live on august the 17th um i have been working kind of a lot and i think like because my hours are so off the rocker and like now they're becoming more consistent but they're gonna change again starting like next week which is kind of insane too um it's just been a fun time and we have a lot of just like trying to relax whenever I can but also working on a lot of other fun projects that I want to hopefully be done by the end of August which <coughs> sorry I'm not gonna edit that out because I honestly don't feel like re-listening to myself but like hopefully by the end of August a lot of these fun projects can be like set in stone kind of a thing for like sometimes September October kind of a thing um but yeah so we have that going for us and then monday for me i guess also monday for you because this is going live on thursday i'm starting school again so i'm also trying to like mentally prepare for the next semester for those of you that don't know like i am in university going for a bachelor's degree um so that's definitely going to be taking up a lot of time which is why there was this random hiatus thing because over the summer i guess what has worked so well for me has been like batch filming and batch editing so i'll do like three four five honestly sometimes Sometimes even six videos at a time like to like film or edit or upload or whatever because I work best in groups question mark but also that kind of bit me in the butt because like this was the first video for the next group so I had like five videos essentially imported ready to go to start editing like on my laptop or whatever and then I just never got around to them <laughs> so now I'm like it's not essentially caught up on editing but like I'm caught up on being able to import all of the footage onto my laptop question mark because it's another thing like mm, I have to like delete the footage as I go from SD cards and from my laptop and everything because I don't want to buy like a whole other like hard drive situation and I also don't want to buy like a giant SD card to like not delete anything so I'm having to like wait to delete things in order to like start a new if that makes any sense so i guess like taking a break i've taken a break from editing for probably the last like three or four weeks again just because i do things in batches if i do like five or six videos at a time it's usually like two to three weeks worth of content for the youtube channel kind of a thing um which is very much so fun and exciting for me because like after that because i learned how to edit reels like on my laptop i've been having a lot of fun <laughs> turning 
creator videos into reels and doing uh, some fun uh, little like transitions glitches like any of that kind of stuff which has honestly just been so like therapeutic in a way to just be able to explore and again with the whole like being obsessed with like movies and tv shows and everything and like rewatching doctor who um like just having doctor who on in the background and just searching for a bunch of different like free transitions that i can pull in kind of a thing um and just editing some reels on my laptop has been my new favorite thing which i also haven't been able to do because i need to edit and upload the video first before i can focus on the reel to like advertise for the video if that makes any sense i don't know so all that to say that there will probably be more hiatai hiatuses height hi 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 i don't even know whatever the plural form of hiatus um is in the foreseeable future i will try my hardest to for sure at least have a plan with me up every thursday but also, I don't, A, I don't know how well that's going to go. And, like, if you guys don't see a plan with me, don't worry. I am very much so still alive and well, hopefully. <laughs> and just, like, time consuming. Because, like, now, again, with, like, adding a job to my plate, um, like, YouTube has definitely been the back burner. Because, like, my priority of things has definitely shifted. And it also kind of sucks because I noticed that, like, my engagement, my views, like, the amount of comments, videos, likes, any of that stuff was definitely the most when I was uploading every single day, which kind of makes me really sad because I went from having, we're just going to go into, like, my analytics for a little bit, um, but I went from having, uh, like, 12 to 1300 views in, like, the 20 day period that YouTube gives you the analytics for, like, by default kind of a thing, um, to now having, like, five to 600, which is kind of, like, I don't want to say sad, because, like, also it's understandable, like, if I'm not putting out content for people to watch, they're not going to click to watch my content, you know what I mean? But, like, I think the only reason that makes me sad is because, like, the last two Plan With Me's that I put out, especially, like, the one using the Ju Juneteenth kit from Pinkdom and Planner Co., were definitely ones that, like, I felt very proud of myself for them kind of thing. And they were also, like, I'm not gonna lie, they were a little bit of a mental toll to do like it took me kind of a while to like a mentally prepare myself to like do research look stuff up like figure out what I want to talk about kind of thing but also like to do the entire voiceover as a whole and then also to like hit the schedule button I don't hit the publish button um like all of my videos are previously scheduled kind of a thing so like I knew that I was going to take a little bit of a break from editing because I knew my next video was going to be a voiceover after that but I didn't expect it to be as long as it is. So all that to say, talking in circles, that we will hopefully get back on the YouTube train because this is definitely something that like brings me joy and happiness and all of the wonderful, beautiful things in life, question mark. Um, but uh, unfortunately, it has to take a little bit of a back burner at least for the next like until December, which also makes me really sad because I was definitely looking forward to plan miss and I had like so many great ideas for what I wanted to do for that and everything but we shall just see I think we're just going to take it like a video by video kind of a thing we will definitely for sure have plan with me's every Thursday from now on like I'll just edit my plan with me's first and everything else will kind of just be like back burner afterwards kind of a thing I will try to add kit lineups to um like the main priority of things but also we shall see how that goes and I'm also going to try to like stop batch editing and just edit any day whenever I get a chance hopefully get one video edited and uploaded every single day for the next like 10 days because I do have like nine or ten videos ready to go on my laptop kind of thing so yeah that's basically an update on me let me know if you guys have any updates on yourselves anything fun and exciting any changes whether they be new scary anything and everything all in between um all that fun stuff and hopefully we will all just like ride this wave together and be a-okay at the end of it you know so that's it for this little rambly voice over section let's go ahead and kick it off to uh, live action stephanie for the rest of the video Alrighty, so that is everything for this spread. And again, as per usual, like the Baroque and that I am, I am absolutely in love with the entirety of this spread. I think it is absolutely so beautiful, so stunning, so cute. I didn't fill this one out because I am waiting to both purchase and receive um, Lightyear Deco stickers from Creativity and Ink. Hopefully they're still in her shop because again, like I haven't purchased them yet, but 
I didn't buy the kit so I don't think I needed to buy the deco and then I saw the movie and I was like oh I need the deco to mark watching this movie because it is cute AF so I will get that eventually um and I do like already have a script made for it because I made a bunch of scripts in the beginning of the year I'm um, really quickly gonna go ahead and just flip through what we have left in the kit there is still like a sizable amount of things left in the kit I definitely didn't like need to cut up any labels or anything like you can see there's still a bunch of stuff left in there and there are like a few little things wherever the little things page was like yeah there's there's still like some of the standard little things and some of the older little things but again this is like an older format from Claudia's shop but still super usable super cute super good super all the beautiful things in life so there is that <laughs> that is everything for this spread so as per usual let's just pause take a bit of a breather take a bit of a chill pill and deep breath in deep breath out and repeat after me I am unapologetically me. Be unapologetically yourself. Embrace yourself in every way, shape, or form that you can. Your emotions, your like physical attributes, your mental capacity is like just everything that you can do. Embrace yourself unconditionally. Be yourself unapologetically and express yourself as authentically as you can whenever it is safe for you to do so. And just at the end of the day, do whatever you need to do to be the most amazing and sparkling being. And I'll get you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.